Guys, we have to check our own egos. So I just had a friend who just got in some pretty serious trouble, okay? And I'll tell you guys all about it. He got uh, domestic violence and then he got a DUI. He's got all these things that are starting to stack on top of each other, okay? And he's going to church and he's starting to do all these right things, but yet nothing is really changing for him. So I'm like, dude, I haven't talked to this guy in, in a little while. I'm gonna give him a call. So I'll give him a call and we start chit chatting and this guy is very smart, like super intellectual, like a 33, 34 on his ACT, way smarter than I am. And basically I told him, bro, get your shit together. Oh dude, my shit is together. No, it's not. You just got a DUI. I know man, but it's bullshit DUI. You only had three drinks and this and that. Doesn't fucking matter, dude. Like you put yourself in that position and then you got arrested on top of just getting those very serious charges that'll most likely be dropped later because it is a fucked up situation. But the point is, we as men, we control everything that we do. We are the ones that are always in control, always in control. And the, his ego was so big and we all have ego. So I basically started yelling at him to shut the fuck up listen to me i'm here to help you you're going to church i don't care about that because that's not really helping you yeah you feel good for a second but you're still making these same mistakes like bro you're still drinking you're still doing this you're still doing that you're not actually changing anything you're just regurgitating what you know people want to hear and Finally, he started to listen to me. I started to break him down when he realized like how upset I was getting from his bullshit because I wasn't giving him an out. He wasn't going to intellectually navigate his way out of this conversation because the, the proof's in the pudding. The results are literally right there in the pudding with exactly what happened. So there's literally nothing he could say to really get himself out of this conversation. So he finally starts to be honest with me and break down like, yeah, he does need to start changing this. But it took so much energy for me to be able to let him know like, dude, you're full of shit, man. Like, get your shit together. Start removing these things. And guys, our egos are so big that we as men, it's legitimately what's holding us back is our egos. Like we're so afraid to tell our best friends like what our problems are. Like we're too afraid to let people know that we need help to lose weight. We need help to quit looking at porn. We need help to be a better father, to be a better uncle, to, to make more money. Like we need help with these things, but we have such a big ego, we will keep it and we won't share any things because we're so selfish and we're so afraid of what other people are gonna think. And it's like, why do we care? Like, why do we care so much? Like, why do I really care that bad about what Jimmy thinks about me? Like, I really don't. You know, like primetime Deion Sanders, your opinion of me is not my opinion of me. Like, I'm a beast, bro. Like, I make money. I get shit done. Like I make things happen. Like, dude, listen to me. I'm gonna help you. I will guarantee to get you from point A to point B. So be real with me, be 100% real. And the way you do that in terms of fitness and personal development, cause it's all really hand in hand. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta get rid of all these negative vices in your life. Alcohol, weed, porn, overeating, everything that it could possibly be. And then you gotta channel all of that into something positive. That's what alchemy is, is, is the chemical, you know, compound magic of turning negative to positive. Like that's what alchemy really is right there. And the best place that starts is with your fitness. And the best thing that you could do is hire a coach, somebody to help you. You gotta pay to pay attention. You know, if it's free, you're not gonna put in the work. If it's not enough money of an investment, then you're just gonna write it off like you've already done a hundred other times. Like, guys, I get it. Like, I've been there. Like, I almost committed suicide three years ago living in a trailer when I had no purpose in my life. My brother was murdered when I was 19. I went on this terrible 
downward spiral. And, and the murderers are still out there, by the way. We never got them. We never caught them. It's a whole story. I'll tell it another time. I was playing college baseball. That happened. Wrecked my life. Got into drugs, alcohol, meaningless, pointless relationships with you know, friends that just drug me down because they were being drugged down. They were dragging themselves down. They drug me down. And then I drug people down as well because I was a piece of shit. And now, you know, I got, I got a lot of karma to make up because I did, I hurt a lot of people in that process of me having so much pain within myself that I hurt other people. But finally, enough was enough. I hired a coach, he helped me, and I remember on our call, I was so transparent, man. I, I was doing my best not to cry because like, I just had so much pain that I needed to get out and I just didn't know how to do it. I didn't know where to go. And for me, I needed to get my fitness, my health in line, and then I needed to make money. Like I needed to start providing for myself and quit being a broke piece of shit and being so selfish. And it all starts with fitness, and really it all starts with you being honest with yourself. It starts with you looking dead ass in the mirror and saying, I need to be better. I need to be a better father, a better husband, a better uncle, a better business leader, a better employee. Whatever your position is, you need to be better, and we can always be better. Always. It's that upward spiral of personal development, of going the right way, of increasing your frequency, increasing your vibration. And every person that comes in contact with you when you're in that high vibrational state is going to be impacted on a positive level. Like they're going to be impacted in such an amazing way that they're going to change because of you. And then that's going to make you feel good. That's going to help your soul because you're helping another person, but that takes checking our ego. Check your ego, look in the mirror, be honest with yourself, remove alcohol, remove porn, quit making excuses as to why you're not getting your workouts, quit overeating, quit all these things. My light just went out, but quit all these things that are holding you back. Get rid of all of it. And I say these things because guys, I know what it feels like. I promise you. I actually battle with a lot of this stuff every single day, but that 10.0 version of lead that I've created from investing into coaches to help me. I've hired four coaches to help me and it's been the best decision I've ever made. It's to invest $70,000 over the past three years into myself, into learning, into my personal development. And it's been the best thing I could ever do. So the best thing you can do, guys, is literally look yourself in the mirror and you know your soul will tell you what you need to do and you need to actually do it. It's going to be so uncomfortable, but you need to do it. You need to take that first step into bettering yourself, becoming a better human being and impacting the world. We're really here to help people. That's why we're on planet Earth because we're all the same. We're all mirrors. Like, you're in pain, I'm in pain, I'm happy, you're happy. Like we're all pain. We gotta check our egos, guys. Check your egos. So thank you guys for tuning in, man. Much love. If you have any questions, you know, comment down below, email me, whatever the case is, guys. I love y'all. I'm here to help. Any way I can help, let me know because I will do it. Whatever video you guys need, I wanna be here for you. But guys, take the first step, check your ego. Be honest with yourself, don't lie to yourself, and start this path of personal development and becoming the best person that you can possibly be for yourself, for your family, and for the world. Love y'all, let's have a great day.